Hi, I'm Nikki and I'm part of the 019 Plus Service. And I'm Sonia and I'm a family service worker for the Early Start Service. And we're going to take a little look today at home safety for you, your baby or your child around your home. So first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about falls. Now falls can occur from, from birth right up to toddlerhood. Um, so the sort of things you need to be aware of are when you're holding your baby, just making sure that you haven't got toys and things around you that you could trip up with. And also being aware that when your baby is on the changing mat that they might roll off. So never leave your baby unattended on a changing mat or a sofa. As they grow up, they can toddle around. So just being made aware that they could fall down the stairs, they could trip over and hurt themselves. So just being aware of all the things in your home that could cause injury. Suffocation or strangulation is another worry for a lot of parents. It's about using those eyes to look around the environment and just make sure everything around your baby or child is safe. Blind cords are really important, something that needs to be tied up and away from your baby and child. Also, things like nappy sacks, uh, make sure that your child can't reach them, even when you're changing the nappy, um, and that they can't grab them and put them to their mouths. Also, when you put your baby to bed, make sure that that sleeping space is nice and clear. A clear cot is a safe cot, so no cot bumpers, no duvets, and pop your baby down towards the bottom end of the cot for safe sleeping. Another worry is poisoning, which is a real hazard in the home. There are various things that a child can um, be poisoned from, from cleaning products, tablets, medication, and laundry products as well. The worrying thing is a lot of these products come in nice shiny packages, they're very attractive for children, so always make sure that you keep anything like that hidden away, locked up high, um, so they can't reach them. So we're talking about laundry tablets, um, painkillers, anything like that, and um, cleaning products too. Thinking about safety around water is really important. Bath time is an important time of everybody's day and an important part of your daily routine. Always make sure that you fill the bath up first with cool water and then add the hot. Never leave your baby alone in the bath at any time, whether that's when they're in the bath or when you're filling it. Make sure that the toys that you use in the bath are appropriate and safe for your baby and that your baby only sits and plays in five centimetres of water. We do get asked quite a lot of questions about choking. Um, that's usually covered when you look at the weaning um, program. However, things that you do need to be aware of are when you're feeding your baby a bottle to make sure that your baby is propped up um, and you're feeding your baby, never ever prop a bottle up um, without you being attended there. Um, never use any equipment um, that you can get these days to help prop up the bottle. Um, and as your child gets older, they start weaning, um, then just be aware of uh, the size of the food that you're giving your child. Always make sure that you um, peel grapes and cut them into quarters, and same with tomatoes, um, and just be aware that um, they can choke easily on small items as well, buttons, toys, batteries, things like that. Just make sure you keep those um, out of view. Next we'll have a little look at burns. Uh, we've already talked about not having your bath water too hot, but have a think about other hazards around your home where your child might get burnt or scalded. Make sure that you've got a fire guard in front of your fire. Make sure that you keep any hot drinks or hot meals away from where your child or baby can reach. Um, also make sure things like hair straighteners are well away from your child. They're often something that we tend to leave on the floor um, and easy for any child to get to. Uh, and cooking in the kitchen. Make sure that when you are cooking, things like leads of kettles, pan handles are turned away. You'll be surprised what your toddler can reach. Make sure that your home is safe from fire, that you have fire alarms in your home that are regularly tested, and that you've also planned an escape route for if there is danger within your home and you smell smoke and there is a fire. Although all these things can be very frightening, please always remember that there is support out there and if you do need more advice, don't hesitate to contact your health visitor. Also, at the end of this short video, there will be a link to more advice. Thank you. Thank you.